Gundam the Witch from Mercury, aside from being a goddamn mouthful, is the best giant robot series this year because Gundam does it best. It's what I would say if it were actually about giant robots and not anus voldigold with robots attached. Gundam seems to want to ape on what every schlocky light novel does by placing the main character into a Yuri couple immediately upon the first episode's end and have it take place in a high school complete with a first episode bully and all. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. It's not inherently bad, and in general, I didn't dislike the first episode, but when coupled with the prologue, it does feel a bit disjointed, and it seems as if there's a disconnect between the staff. The first 15 minutes of the prologue are normal political Gundam stuff, and it's a complete fucking snooze fest that even starts with annoying techno babble that no one gives a shit about. It goes on to improve in the remaining seven minutes of the anime, but it's here where the disconnect really shows. Jesus fucking Christ! The action in this half was very raw and real, but the writer clearly thought that the idea of a four-year-old piloting a giant robot and murdering people was this super cool thing and not silly at all. But it was when taken at face value, so the director instead portrayed it as this really unnerving, creepy moment where this innocent little girl is casually murdering people in space while counting to three as the mother watches on in horror. Look, they're just like candles! And it's 10 out of 10 A-plus stuff while being absolutely fucking hysterical. That disconnect between the writer thinking it's cool but the director trying to make it unnerving leads to this unintentional hilarity where the epic choir music only makes it all the more funny. In comparison, the first episode doesn't have any moments like this and it's just played straight. This does lead to it being a more solid viewing experience but it lacks anything that pushes it over the edge into good or bad territory. It does seem as if the writer is just writing a love letter to revolutionary girl Utano, which doesn't automatically make it good, but is also taking what that anime did and throwing throwing some other good ideas into the pot and trying to cram it all together into a magic high school setup and it just isn't working out so far. Because they don't know how to make it all work, they're just rolling with these inherently silly ideas without fully playing into them and instead just playing them straight. <laughs> You have to fucking fight just to say sorry, it's so stupid. The director, on the other hand, seems to be going for a more grounded Gundam story to the point of even having an older character call out just how silly the entire dueling in high school system is. It 100% feels like it's channeling too many things at once while only partially understanding most of these concepts. And that's on top of the aforementioned writing having a disconnect from the direction, leading to moments like Eri being a fun and goofy weirdo, but at the same time being too socially bashful to follow through on anything. The setup is ripe with unnerving contrast, but they constantly record away from it just as it's starting to go somewhere, and its innate silliness <laughs> doesn't mesh well with the serious, unnerving feel of the prologue, yet at the same time, it seems like that's what the show's going to try and be later on, which would be extremely jarring because these two things just don't mix, and that's ignoring how silly the main villain's motivations are. Robots shouldn't kill people, people should kill people. On the upside, the art and animation are very crisp, and the mechs are primarily 2D, which is always a plus. The show does feel a bit masturbatory towards the Gundam, as they suck its robocock every time it's on screen, but it doesn't ruin anything for the most part. The fights so far have also just been beam spam, but they do look pretty cool with excellent cinematography and direction, so it's a joy to watch. And while the writing may be poor, the direction is very solid and it complements the OST extremely well, which itself is also very well done. The anime as a whole does seem a bit wishy-washy on where it wants to go, and it's a bit too nonsensically goofy when it's going to try and get you to take the politics and warfare seriously later on, but it was a decent watch and I can see it improving as it goes. But honestly, I wish that tomato would squirt on my face. Click here for more videos and here for exclusive videos.